Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Web Development Roadmap on IntelliPark. Do you know friends that in this session we will discuss the steps you need to take to become a web developer and how to build a successful career in the web development. Now before we move ahead and learn more about it, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. First, we are going to start our session with understanding the basics of web development. Moving ahead. We are going to discuss about HTML and CSS. Then we are going to learn about the front end frameworks. Moving ahead, we are going to also discuss about the back end frameworks. Then we are going to dig deep dive into the databases. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss the role of APIs and third party integrations. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with a discussion on continuing education and career growth. So let's start, guys, with first understanding what is exactly is web development. Web development is a process of building websites and web applications. To understand the basics of web development, you need to have a strong understanding of how websites work, how they are structured, and how different technologies interact to create a functioning website. The basic structure of a website consists of three main components, that is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. HTML is used to structure the content on a website, whereas CSS is used to style the website and make it more visually appealing, whereas JavaScript is used to add interactivity and dynamic features to the website. Web development also invokes understanding of front-end and back-end development. Front-end development is concerned with the user interface which includes HTML, CSS and JavaScript, whereas the back-end development is concerned with the server side of the website or web application which also includes languages such as PHP, Python, Ruby, and databases like MySQL and MongoDB. Understanding the basics of web development is essential for anyone who wants to become a web developer. By having a strong foundation in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and also understanding the differences between front-end and back-end development, you will be well on your way to build a successful website and web application. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding understanding the web development. Now let's move forward and understand the HTML and CSS. HTML and CSS are two fundamental languages used in web development. HTML or Hypertext Markup Language is used to structure content on a web page. HTML allows developers to create headings, paragraphs, lists, tables and other elements that make up the content of a website. Whereas the HTML is a markup language which also means that it uses tags to define the structure of a web page. If we talk about CSS or cascading style sheets, it is used to style the content on a web page. CSS allows developers to change the appearance of HTML elements which includes fonts, colors, margins and padding. CSS is a style sheet language which means that it uses rules to define the styles for different elements on a web page. Together, HTML and CSS are used to create the structure and style of a web page. By using HTML to define the content and a CSS to style the content, developers can create visually appealing and well-organized web pages. HTML and CSS are relatively easy to learn and are essential for anyone who wants to become a web developer. By having a strong foundation in these two languages, developers can create beautiful and responsive web pages that are accessible to users across different devices and platforms. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea regarding the role of HTML and CSS in the web development. Now let's move forward and understand one of the most important part which is the front-end framework. If I talk about the front-end framework, Basically, front-end framework is a collection of pre-written HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code that the developers can use to build website and web applications more efficiently. Front-end frameworks are designed to help developers streamline the development process by providing a set of pre-designed templates, styles, and components that can be easily customized to fill the needs of a specific project. If I talk about the popular front-end frameworks, it includes Bootstrap, Foundation, 
materialize and balma each framework has its own unique set of features and styles but they all share the goal of making front end development faster and more efficient using a front end framework can have several advantages for the developers first it can save time by providing pre written code that can be easily customized to fit a specific project second front end framework often have built in responsive design features thus making it easier to create websites and web applications that work well on different devices and screen sizes finally front end frameworks can improve the consistency and quality of a project by providing a standardized set of styles and components however there are also some potential drawbacks to use a front end framework for example some frameworks can be difficult to customize and resulting website or web application may look too similar to other website that use the same framework additionally using the front end framework may require additional time and effort to learn the specific features and components of a framework overall if i talk about front end frameworks are very useful tool for developers who want to build websites and web applications more efficiently by providing pre written code responsive design features and standardized styles and components front end frameworks can help developers to save time and improve their quality of their projects now let's move on and understand the back end framework back end frameworks are the collection of pre written code libraries and tools that developers can use to build the server side of a websites and web applications more efficiently these frameworks provide a set of pre built components database connectivity and apis which can be used to handle back end functionality such as data storage user authentication and server side logic some popular back end frameworks include ruby on rails django laravel express and flask each framework has its own unique set of features and strengths but they all share the goal of making back end development faster and more efficient using a back end framework can have several advantages for developers first it can reduce development time by providing pre built components that can be easily customized to fit the needs of a specific project second back end frameworks can improve the scalability and performance of a website or web application by optimizing database connectivity and caching However there are also some potential drawbacks to use a back end framework for example some frameworks may have steep learning curve whereas it may take time to learn how to use all of the features and components additionally using a back end framework may limit flexibility and customization options for developers who need to build custom functionality or integrate with third party apis overall back end frameworks are useful tool for developers who want to build the server sides of the websites and web applications more efficiently by providing pre built components and optimized database connectivity back end frameworks can help developers to save time and improve the performance and scalability of their projects i hope so guys you would have got a brief idea regarding the back end framework now let's move on and understand about the databases databases are very important and play a very huge role in the web development process basically databases are the software systems used to store and manage large amounts of structured data they are essential components of a web application and other software systems that require data storage and retrieval databases provide a structured way to organize and store data they also allow for efficient querying and retrieval of data there are various types of databases including relational databases no sql databases graph databases each with its own set of features and strengths choosing the right database for a particular application or use case is an important decision for developers as it can have significant impact on the performance and scalability and functionality of the application i hope so guys you would have got a brief overview about databases now let's move forward and understand the role of apis and third party integration API or application programming interfaces are software interfaces that allow different systems to communicate with each other. APIs provide way for developers to integrate third-party services and functionality into their own applications. 
without having to build everything from scratch. Third party integrations are processes of connecting the application to external services such as payment processors, social media platform or other web services using APIs. By integrating with third party services, developers can add new features and functionality to their applications such as payment processing, social media sharing or data analytics. For example, a developer building an e-commerce website might use a third party payment processing API to handle the online transactions or integrate with a shipping service to provide a real time shipping rates and tracking information. Similarly, a developer building a social media platform might use a third party API to integrate with popular social media networks, thus allowing users to easily share their content on multiple platforms. Using APIs and third party integrations can have several advantages for developers. First, it can save time and development costs by leveraging existing functionality and services. Second, it can improve the functionality and user experience of an application by integrating with popular and well-established services. However, it's important to carefully evaluate and test the third-party integrations to ensure they meet the requirements and standards of the application and to address any security or performance concerns. Now let's discuss about continuing career and education, which is very crucial for your success in the web development journey. Continuing education and career growth are essential for success in the field of web development. As technology and industry practices evolve, developers must stay up to date with new technologies, programming languages and development methodologies to remain competitive and relevant. One of the best ways to continue education and career growth is through online courses, workshops and certifications. These resources can provide developers with the latest knowledge and skills in their field and help them to stay up to date with the latest industry trends and best practices. Additionally, attending web development conferences, hackathons and meetups can provide valuable networking opportunities and exposure to new ideas and technologies. Another way to advance in a web development career is to work on the side projects or contribute to open source projects. This can help developers gain practical experience and exposure to new technologies while building a portfolio to work to show their skills. Finally, pursuing advanced degrees or certifications can open up a new career opportunities and help developers to specialize in a particular area of web development such as data science, user experience design or cybersecurity. Continuing education and career growth are very essential for the success and developers who are committed to ongoing learning and professional development are more likely to succeed in their careers and make valuable contributions to the field. I hope so guys, you would have got a brief idea how to elevate your career and education through certifications, workshops and also contributing to the open source projects. That was all for today's session guys. I hope so, you would have got a brief idea about the complete roadmap to become a web developer. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.